Good evening. Tonight we're going to see a show that's filled with comedy invention. Dave Chappelle's the best. Comedians open cards! It's opening cards, no coffee. I'm here with Matt Ruby. Oh, how are you? And you're doing the Tuesday um... hot soup at Comedy Cellar. Oh, and it's such a great show. It's usually you, I think, Veter. Yep, Mark Norman. Hey, hey, folks. Comedy. We're really doing it. I'm gay. He's homeless. Sweep it up. <laughs> oh, I missed the bike. And then oh, changes the change, different lineups. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I've gone so many times, and sometimes you can actually talk to the comics after the show. I know, look, we're talking right now. Before exactly. The show. This is how it happens. Super. So I got a bunch of cards yes. uh, on the ground. I don't know if you see anything that uh, strikes you. I mean, like I saw the Alf, and that went straight to my heart. Like, I remember being a kid and watching the show. This is back when aliens were like friendly and under the couch instead of like. X Files and New Mexico shit. Am I supposed to open it? Oh up yeah, or what? yeah, sure. So yeah, you open them up, talk about them, and then if you would sign one for me, then you can keep the others. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we have different scenes from the show. Out. Oh, here we go. If you don't know, he, I think he was an alien and he just wore a Hawaiian shirt and lived under the couch and like used to like heckle this family and they were fine with it for some reason. It was like a oh, comedian. Is gum in here? Yeah. It's oh shit. Mark Norman like ate the gum. No, I'm not gonna do that. That'll Simeon like ate the cancer. gum. I'll give it to uh, someone else. Josh Adam Myers ate the gum. No one's been happy with their decision. No, that's, yeah, well, it's, uh, you know, what has it been in here since like 1989 or something? Yeah, whenever show? the freaking cards came oh, out. Look at this. Oh, okay. it's a sticker. Yeah. That's nice. I'm going to put that on the laptop right there. This that's is, like, you know, I don't yeah. even know if you usually saw him as a full figure, did you? What, no, I feel you know? like, he, like someone had to have his hand up yeah. the back. So yeah, I feel like, like that like was a, a, a yeah, this is how you always saw him. He was just sort of lurking behind this couch. And he would tell like one-liners and jokes and stuff. Yeah, I don't even really remember if there was a plot ever. Like sitcoms in general back then. Oh, here he is like in the kitchen, you know, just showing up. Josh Adam Meyer said uh, it was, this show was the first time he cried. The first, e Alf? the first episode of ALF, because ALF is on the like radio talking back to home about how he's not going to get back. And Josh was like four or five, whatever, how old he was, and just cried. And that's when he started doing drugs. It all makes sense. <laughs> it all begins when you're a kid. That's when the trauma starts, guys. <coughs> yeah, exactly. All right, look at us. This is great. All right. Awesome. I appreciate it. Hey, well, thank you so much. And uh, go see live comedy because it is the best. Oh, and you're special. I mean, it's it's been out for a bit now, a bit. but... What's it called? Uh, Matt Ruby Substance. It's free to watch on YouTube. Just go to youtube.com slash Matt Ruby. It's me doing sets one high, one drunk, one on shrooms, and one sober, and documentary stuff leading up to each day, and it's good jokes and weird shit and gets kind of philosophical and weird. Check it out. It's a great exploration. I totally recommend it 100%. It's so cool. It. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Quiet on the set. Take two. Our first contestant, South Pole Santa. He has a, a giant bag of vintage porn. It stinks. The porn stinks. Okay. Stinky old really magazines. Oh, it does smell like wet. Oh my god. It smells like basement. Alright, South Pole Santa, stop. No, stop, no. I said stop. Come over here, you fucking psychopath. What the fuck is going on? He's giving out gifts to the studio audience. It's got it's too much. This guy's porn magazines have definitely been labeled Exhibit A before. Yes. All right, all right, slow down. Can I tell you what's wrong right now? So everyone, 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 stop flipping through your magazines. This is Lewis's nightmare. Lewis, play your guitar. Lewis, play your guitar. Lewis lost the room to periodicals. It's crazy. Everyone stop looking at vintage pornography and listen to Lewis. He's taking over the whole thing. Santa took over. So it's... It's Comedians Opening Cards, No Coffee, and I'm here with Joe DeRosa, who wasn't even doing a set tonight, just hanging out. Just hanging out. Awesome. Uh, so there's just a whole bunch a of- great angle we got there. Do you, well, if so, if when you pick the cards- I know, you, I'm busting you, I know, I'm just Oh joking. God, you keep doing it, and Jesus, I freaking man. take it goddamn so you seriously. It's a show, I thought. Friends. Well, yes, but I take everything so goddamn literal. It is not a great angle, but- uh, Well, then you were serious. I mean, for my- well, just for this is, you know, I, you know, what are you gonna do? It's that's no what, way. um, 
Sagalo did a whole freaking thing with his like chin. I'm gonna try to. Yeah. Uh, oh, I love the movie Return to Oz. Really? I, I don't it. even know that one. It's a sequel to The Wizard of Oz. Right, because I know Baum the, wrote like a gazillion books. Yeah, Return to Oz is a great movie. Um, it's very strange. I mean, it, some of these are hard, some of these movies are hard art. Robocop Two is a pretty hard art. Huh. Uh, and it's interesting they made like child. The gum cards, were, yeah. I mean, unless grown-ups were collecting these things back then too, I feel like that's. I mean, they made Howard the Duck the movie, like which yeah, is, but that was like for kids, like Alien. That's an R-rated no, horror movie. The it's girl really gets in bed stuff. with him, and they're gonna have sex, except they get interrupted by the uh, the two bad guys. Oh, I love the Dark Crystal. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess I would go with Return to Oz. Yeah. These are newer. Than yeah. Well, yeah, it's like too new. Well, yeah, it's mixer max. They're not whatever. The foil I mean, packs aren't as fun. What am I supposed to do now? So you, so if the one that you like was Return to Oz, so yeah, I've never seen Return to Oz trading cards. Yeah, so you like the movie? I, when did that? What year? Well, like it was like the. I mean, I remember the Wizard of Oz was like a '30s movie. They switched from color to black and white, or, right? Yeah. Yes. So when was this one? This movie was made in. Uh, I want to say 1987. Yeah, they're probably well, dated the for the cards. Uh, 85. Wow. Mm, okay. 85. So you're pretty close. Yeah, Faruza Balk started. Yeah, I don't know the person. She was in. Uh, well, she's in a lot of things, but she's in the craft. It's probably the okay. most famous movie she's in. Right, right, right. She's a big actor. Right, right, right. Uh, she's the only person I know. Well, no, the guy. I, don't know, I forget the guy's name. But she's she's probably the biggest name from the movie, I would think. Right, she's right, right. Dorothy. Right, right, right. Uh, and so she just Dorothy in the story. She goes back to Oz for some reason. What was there another storm? She's uh, she's yeah. She's she's back from uh, Dorothy, not Feruza. Yeah, she's Feruza's bike. She's back from Oz, and uh, nobody believes her. The story. Okay. I think that she's got mental issues. Oh, so it's her going back home to Indiana or wherever it was. Well, she's home already. It opens with her being home and and they establish pretty quickly that Ann M and Uncle... Uh, what the hell was the uncle's name? Pete? Uncle Dave? <laughs> yeah, Uncle, uncle Pete Ed? Dave. Uncle... I forget. Whatever the hell the guy's name was. Anyway, Mr. The, Ed. Yeah, the aunt and uncle don't believe her. Right, sure. And they establish that, you know, that she has to go to this, um, like, like psychiatry clinic place. It's because she's, they think that she's had mass hallucinations. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> uh, and um, they're going to electroshock her. Oh, gosh. Uh, her brain. Right. Uh, so to, to wipe, I guess, to correct her. Right, right, right. Uh, wow. And uh, a storm comes and knocks the power out of the place. And I forget exactly how she gets whisked back to Oz, but it is a storm. It's not a tornado, but it's a storm. It's like an electrical storm. Right, right, right. right. And um, anyway, and then she ends up back in Oz. And, and uh, the yeah, you, you don't see the characters from the... Uh, the characters are all modeled after the book illustrations. Okay, sure. So it, it does, it is, it is officially a sequel to the uh, Judy Garland Wizard of Oz. Right, right, right. But all the characters are redesigned uh, to match what the storybook illustrations look like. Oh, that's so you don't cool. see the original people, characters she befriends uh, until the end of the movie. Right. They look quite different uh, because they look like the book illustrations. Huh. Uh, so, but she makes, you know, she meets all new characters. And it's a very sinister movie. It's very dark. Right, right, right. Um, uh, the Gnome King. There's there's the Gnome King. He's the main bad guy. And then there's Mombi, a witch who collects heads. She has a hall of, a hall of heads. Wow. She takes her head off every day and puts a new wow, head Wow, puts on. a new one on, like a hat. Yeah. So she wants to she wants to collect Dorothy's head. Wow. Uh, and there's these guys called the Wheelies. That are really freaky. Come here, Chicken! Come here! 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 Come here
vibe to it. It's kind of like, did you ever see The Wiz? Uh, I think I probably did, but probably when it came out. So The I Wiz is an awesome movie, and yeah. The Wiz is also, like, it's got a, it's it's a much edgier version Let's of, the yeah. I don't have anything. Sorry. Um, give, give someone need these cards. Well, she might need the oh. gum's no good. Yeah, Norman ate it. Uh, I'm sure he did. Yeah, I know. A lot of um, it's odd when I eat it. No, um, but, but, uh, but the, the Wiz is a much more sinister, at least the movie. I never saw it. Is that like Janet Jackson or something? No, the Wiz is, um, uh, is that the Diana, uh, uh, oh, Jesus God. Diana Ross? Yeah, Diana Ross. I'm right. so right. Diana okay. Ross, Michael Jackson, uh, the lady that played, I'm blanking on her name, but the lady that played the mom on What's Happening, she plays the witch. She's great. Oh, yeah. She's great. Everybody's great at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I think Nipsey Russell is it? Oh, wow. I think, I think. But anyway, my point is, is The Wiz, the movie at least, right, is a much darker take on the the, the, Oz the Wizard of Oz tale story. Mythology. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's got a more sinister overall vibe. All right, right. Um, the movie, the the original movie is pretty dark, uh, and and well, people were scared of that when it came, like you know those yeah. the monkey people and it, yeah, at times it's you pretty know freaky. as a youngster I would that freaking shocked me and stuff. I just got it on, I got the you know whatever, seventy eighth collector's edition bullshit anniversary thing. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I didn't have it on Blu ray and I bought it. Um, now I got to upgrade to the four K. But that was the first time I'd watched it in a long time last year and. Uh, it's, it's. I mean, it's an impeccable movie. When I was a kid growing up, it was my favorite movie, and I really do think it. It's a content that the Garland one, even though it's not that faithful to the book, I think it's absolutely a contender for the greatest movie ever made. Just, just the, what they pull off in it, spectacle wise. Yeah. But it's overall fairly bright, considering that the books are darker. This movie's darker. The Wiz is darker. Um, and that's one of the things I really like about Return right. of Oz. Return of Oz plays much more... Disney did it, but it, it plays... And Disney was doing a lot of dark stuff at this time. This was when they were doing, like... In the same sort of few years, under a decade, where they were doing... Uh, they did The Black Hole. Right, right, right. They did uh, The Black Cauldron. They right. did Watcher in the Woods. They did, They were doing dark stuff. Right, right, right. They were right. doing cool dark stuff. Oh, uh, something wicked this way comes. They were doing some really cool dark stuff. So this is one of those movies, right? And um, it plays like that. It feels like a darker, like the Jim Henson stuff in that period, Dark Crystal. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's got a real edge to it. It's a great movie. Right. It's a great movie. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to open them? I mean, I hate. Or I, do you want to keep it? I don't. Almost, I was going to say I hate to open them because. Well, usually, I, I mean, I. I'd like to get this community. Yeah, I'll open them. I mean, that's the it's point of the show. It's up to you. I mean, you could like you could pick another one to take home if you want. No, that's okay. You know, I mean, you know, like if you. you know Where do I mean? you get these? I'm a, I'm more of a hoarder than probably you are with your collectible stuff, but right. I sell things on eBay and things, okay. mostly paper and stuff. So. Oh Jesus! Yeah, the gum is just horrific. Shit. Yummy. <laughs> I can hear it, Jesus. It dissolved, Simeon ate it. It dissolved in his mouth. Oh. Josh Adam Myers took chews and then spit the thing out and disgusted so some girl who came up who wanted to get a photo of him and something. She's like, oh, wait, can you at least smile? Or sit? <laughs> Well, this is interesting. These are all, this whole, every card is a sticker. I never saw. Wow. I haven't either. You know, usually oh, these wax like, backs are cards and one of them You get sticker. one sticker, yeah. Here, show up like a show a sticker to the thing or whatever. So well, okay, so some of what I was talking about. Here's a great example. Okay, so there's the scarecrow. The camera's this, yeah. There you go. There's Perfect. the scarecrow. You can see. Oh right, it's that early illustration. Like yes, without a um, doubt. Illustrations. Uh, now the the original she doesn't movie. Have Toto. She, she has Toto at the beginning, but when he doesn't go to Oz with her, she's got this chicken that talks. Oh wow. I forget the chicken's name, but now the original movie was like an allegory for getting off the gold standard or something, or staying on the gold standard. Or it was. Well, oh, I didn't know that. I didn't oh, know that. oh, yeah. The, the the yellow brick road is the gold, and and the the scarecrow's the farmer, and then the the industrial. There's like a different thing. Oh, but then the that. only thing I was gonna that I just heard recently was that in the original book, 
the the sh the the slippers aren't ruby; they're silver to yes. make it even more. But that doesn't show up in the in the thing. They so they made them yeah. red only to do that. <laughs> Silver and so they're they're remaking the Wizard of Oz again uh, currently. Okay. And uh, it's funny. I, I feel like that's one of those things. Even if even if somebody comes along and says okay. we're going to do a whole new adaptation of the book, we're going to do it much more true to the, the book. Right. 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 We're gonna, I feel like it will still always be Ruby Slippers because I feel like they know that the, it's such a part of. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. Of the of the public concept right, right. of Wizard of Oz, I feel like they're like we can't change it, or people will be like, "What the fuck is this?" And it's in like real life, there was something like five different pairs of those ruby slippers. Okay. Like there was like one for close up shot, then there was one for this, and one for so like. So funny, they probably look like shit in real life. But and so like someone's whatever, someone like had like, oh, I've got a pair of the slippers. Someone stole one at one point, but it was like, well, there are four more. Like okay. it's not whatever. It's Here's not like the only one. No, no. It's a uh, here's that's Mommy, huh? That's the witch. The, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I guess she's a witch. Anyway. Anyway. It's like a card on one side and a sticker on the other. The, is that what like it's? Here's the, Ozma. See, Ozma's from. Oh, there's a puzzle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other, yeah. Uh, Ozma, this is interesting. Ozma is in the. I forget which Oz book it is. Ozma starts as a boy, and the little boy turns into Princess Ozma. Wow, it's uh, uh <laughs> ahead of its re time. yeah, exactly relevant for today. Although uh, realistically, so, like supposedly in some Indian tribes and stuff, if you were like um, uh, between sex thing, any of that stuff, you were like a shaman and you were like outside of society. You, you oh, really? Yes, you like lived outside of the thing, but people would come to you for their problems and to ask you stuff because you had more knowledge about. Both no sides. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No shit. Yeah, so it's like yeah. different societies at different times have been ahead of us, below, you know what I right? mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just everything changes. The, uh, this is Jack Pumpkinhead. This is like her right hand oh, man throughout classic. the story. He's kind of like a scarecrow type, but he's not. Good Halloween uh, thing, which yeah. is right around the corner. Good timing. Here's one of the wheelies, the wheelers. See, they're freaky. Look wow. at that. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty, like. It is pretty dark. <laughs> yeah. 
good call uh, on that, Joe. The back of these have like it's scenes. Like a story or something, yeah. They do the same thing in this that they did in the uh, original movie, where like, like the people in her real life in Kansas turn into people. Right. In Oz. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. 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 It's, so yeah. the doctor that's gonna basically <laughs> electric shock therapy here is is the gnome king. Right. Right. He's right. The, he's the bad guy in her real life, and, and then he's the bad guy in Oz. Right. Makes the sense. The head nurse is Mombi. Which is, like, as a child, I think when I, in the original movie, it's like, I think then it was like, oh, she maybe did just dream that. You know what I mean? Like, you thought that. Well, you'll sign one for me. You should give these to somebody, though. Well, you I mean, can... I'm not saying I don't want them. I'm saying somebody, yeah, somebody that doesn't know about this should see these and learn well, about the movie. I have, it's all, that's all good. All right. I mean, yeah. Just get, sign one for me. That, if you want, that'd be yeah. cool. And then keep the others, and you can have the wrapper too if you want, or whatever, you know, Joe. Well, the best, it's not my favorite of them, but the best one to sign is the pumpkin head. Yeah, the pumpkin head's great. Uh, and are you still doing that? You were doing a residency or something at a place for like, uh, you were doing like a once a month show at some place for yeah. a while, you were working on the stand up, I guess that's still going strong and stuff? No, I did, we're done, I did it. Okay, right. I did it at Crane Theater, and now right. we're, uh, I'm doing that show. That hour that I developed there, right? I'm doing it at the Gramercy in general. Oh, congratulations! That's yeah, great. That's yeah. a great venue. So that was kind of the goal was yeah. to build it up. How you doing, man? Awesome. That was kind of the goal was to build it up and right. uh, and develop it and then take it on the road, which I did and I'm still doing. And then uh, we're doing it at the Gramercy in January. Oh, super cool! Tickets at JoeDeRosa.com. Awesome. Thank you so much, Joe. <laughs> Oh, that was so awesome. Good. Thank Thanks, you so Dave. much.